I, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Well, this is another video on my holiday yarn adventures and there is an unboxing, a couple of unboxings, quite a lot of yarn to look at. So guys, this could be a really long video, possibly the longest I have ever made. I'll do it in two parts. So you can take a break and come back later and watch part two, or you can t get yourself a cuppa and enjoy the whole video. So, second stage from Bendigo was to go to Wangaratta and meet up with my subscriber and friend, Janice. We'd been communicating quite a while. We sent each other yarn and gifts. And yes, I was really excited to meet my first subscriber, Janice, in Wangaratta. Now, through text messages, um, Bendigo to Wangaratta isn't that long if you go by the main highway type thing and she suggested why don't we do the silo art trail and we have seen some silo art before not but not very much and I've discovered throughout Australia there are 250 decorated silos at the moment and these are grain silos or silos used to store stuff to go on trains or in trucks to be shipped now we decided we would do that because it would be a leisurely nice dry and we could get to see some great silo art and we did it was amazing there is so many talented artists out there and different thing themes and it was great we actually saw we came across the silo art dedicated to g coles who built the first coles supermarket in st james now Coles, for you those overseas that don't know, is a very big supermarket chain here. And yes, we saw the first little store. They restored the front of it. And there is a silo art dedicated to him. Now if I find that, I will put pictures at the end. But if not, I'll put a few pictures of the silo art at the end. We did take a lot of pictures of the silo art. At these places, there's donation tins to encourage you to make a small donation so they can do other things in the town. And it is a way of attracting tourists to the small towns to spend a little bit of money in their towns. And they're generally rural and farming communities. We did see a lot of canola oil farms along the way, growing canola. At first I thought it was beer hops and I was so excited for Madonna, but it wasn't, it's canola oil. And they're so pretty. The thing about canola oil um, crops is organic farmers don't like them close because canola seeds blow, blow very easily on the wind. And if an organic farmer gets canola in his um, farm growing, then he loses his organic registration and he has to eradicate it. And it's very difficult to get rid of. You often see canola plants in this area growing along the road verge and everywhere. But it is pretty when it's in bloom. I have taken a few photos of that. The funny story on the way to Wangaratta was I'd been saying to Thing and talking about the Great Ocean Road alpaca farm and um, and wanting to see their wool and the alpacas. And I said it'd make my day to see alpacas. 20 minutes later, we're driving along and he goes, oh, they're big sheep. And I look over and I went, they're alpacas. And he goes, oh, I thought I had the wrong driving glasses on. I'm like, oh, God, that's scary. But he did stop and let me take some photos of the alpacas, which was really exciting for me. Anyway, we get to Angaratta late afternoon or early evening. It was still light. We like to be off the road by dark. And... Janice came and her husband came to where we were staying just for a quick catch up. She says, I have a small gift for you. So they turn up, we meet her lovely husband and we all have a chat and the small gift was handed over. Well, Janice's idea of a small gift is very, very, very different to mine because <laughs> I'm going to show you. Our first unboxing is her gift in here I mailed it back home because I would have certainly got excess luggage charges for what is in here and the weight of what is in here so are you ready for our first yarn unboxing a gift to me from my subscriber Janice 
So some of it, I'll read the labels out, some I won't. I've talked about them heaps of time over a number of years in the video, in other videos. And the other thing is I have, I'm not throwing it on the floor. I have a box down here to transfer it to once I've spoken about it. So the first thing I took out is, this is say, Super Saver USA style yarn, a lot like Red Heart Super Saver in purple. She knows I like this yarn and use it a lot, and she gave me a ball of that. <laughs> I've had this yarn before, and I really do like it. I go up to the Tablelands and often get it from the lady in the yarn shop up there. This is made in Australia at the Wangaratta Woolen Mills Red Heart Aran. And she gave me three balls of that. Now there aren't, aren't any colour number, um, colour names, just colour numbers. And this is a full weight and uses a 5.5 crochet hook and a 5mm knitting needle. Now in here there are dun -dun -dun -dun, three balls in this colour, which will make a great blanket because each ball has, see if I can find it, I know that it's 100% premium acrylic. It has 525 metres, they are 300 gram balls. So it's over 1500 metres worth of yarn down there to make a nice big project. But she didn't just stop there with that one. <laughs> she gave me three balls in this colour. I've had these colours before, but they, they are my favourite. Now this has got a colour number, but it's a real purpley pink and blue and green mix. So this 1500 metres is that colour. What next? This is probably my favourite colour in Mandala along with Happy and this is called Genie and, I, and she gave me a ball of Mandala in this colour. But the Mandala doesn't stop there. There are this colour in Mandala and it is Gnome. I have two balls in this box of this colour, which is called Troll in Mandala. I do like a three weight or eight ply yarn. So, no, the box is not empty. In here, and I found out, I don't know, the lady at Wangaratta said she, it's made there, but she hadn't been told. This is Magnum Panda Magnum Soft 8 ply. It is beautiful baby yarn. I really love it. It's really squishy, soft. Rates five out of five for me. And she gave me one in this color. Col color numbers, no color names. It's like a really hot pink. Today I thought I'd try and film with natural light. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day. My hair's a little wet because I had to run around with the dog when I got home from work and I've just had a quick shower. Um, what else is here? Okay, so then we come to a yarn that often goes on sale down south, but not here. And I've just realised I was going out to buy some of this colour tomorrow and I'd forgotten it was in the box. So we have Carnival 8 ply, which is sold at um, usually at a Big W, which is like a big box store, department store. The 271 metres in this, this is an 8 ply. Remembering 8 ply is like a 3 weight. 100% acrylic. Now, colour number. That's purple. That is like a limey, apple green. And of course, orange. And I need orange for a small project tomorrow. And also... There was this beautiful colour pink, but before I mailed it home, I did actually make a small project with it. As you can see, I've used some of it. Now, the project I made is for secondhand September, so I'll show you when I do that video. But yes, four different balls in colours in the Carnival 8 ply. I also got 
and I do like this aristocrat high bulk eight ply in this red color it's like a dusky red color just numbers no names 283 meters in that ball not finished yet <laughs> there is also and this is awesome because when I opened it and saw it there today I thought I know what I'm going to make with that the white Eco Cotton XL, and it is an Ericsson yarn, a Scandinavian lady who beautifully designs this sort of yarn. It's 85% cotton, 15% polyester, and it's in a white, and it's made where? Made in Turkey. Yeah. Ericsson yarn. There's a ball of that. Now, doesn't finish there. In here was another little project bag. I love these. I got one of these from Colleen. That ideal to go in the car and for work. Um, and she gave me because I was getting into amigurumi. And I'm going to be doing some more later. I bought a pattern yesterday online that I want to make. She gave me some eyes. For amigurumis. Because I'm not great at making the eyes. That there are some new crochet hooks being stopped at um, Big W, and she gave me two crochet hooks a four millimeter and a four and a half in these two crochet hooks. Um, it's called Color Color Me Crafts, of the manufacturer. I've never tried them, they have like a, um, a clover grip type. I'll have a go and see. And also in here is it's a secret done by you iron on motives it's a taurus for my star sign now in here also was a little white polar bear and he's moved i've got to find him that she said could go with your yeti well the little polar bear went to my office and he sits on the shelf in my office um, one day I'll remember to take a picture and show you this little polar bear she gave me, which is so cute. I call him Pete the Polar Bear. Now, you think that's it? No. I didn't ship these ones home because the box was full and I put them in my... Well, actually I put them in things luggage because mine was getting close to the weight limit. She gave me three pattern books. 100, fl 100 flowers to knit and crochet because I said I was always having trouble trying to do flowers. Getting into amigurumi, cuddly animals to crochet. 28 cute toys to make. Look at that. I love the giraffe. Isn't it cute? And 200 crochet blocks for blankets, throws and afghans. Three pattern books from Janice. I just can't get over her small gift. It is amazing. Um, oh, she was brilliant. She was the best tour guide we had. She came out with us for the day and showed us around. We went to Beechworth where the best bakery in the world is. Um, there's a lot of lovely shops there. Um, we bought some honey. Oh, well, Thing bought some honey. I didn't like the flavour of it, but he ate it all before we got back because he has it on breakfast cereal. Um, what else did we do? We just had a great time in Beechworth. It was so much fun. We went on from there to... Um, oh, before we went there, we first when we met up with Janice, we went to Wangaratta Woolen Mills, which will be my next unboxing, what I bought at Wangaratta. She also took us to something we hadn't seen in any of the tourist information. It's called the El Dorado, El Dorado, Dorago, El Dorago, I'll get my tongue around it, dredge. It's an old mining dredge that used to mine for gold and other minerals. And at the end of the trip, I asked Thing what were the highlights. And this dredge that she took us to was one of his highlights. He went through it, he had a look at it. It's open to the public. It's quite safe. And oh, wow. It, he was really blown away. And he, at the end of the trip, he said it was a feature of our trip for him. Because of all the yarn shops I dragged him to. 
we went to Beechworth and we went to Glen Rowan after that. Beechworth was just amazing. Highly recommend you visit there and visit the bakery, the candy shop. Um, Glen Rowan, we went there for a thing because there is a giant statue of Ned Kelly and he's a big Ned Kelly fan. Um, if you're not sure who Ned Kelly is, Google him uh, and he's part of Australia's history. So, I'll just check my notes because we saw so much with Janet's. And I'm going to pause it here to start um, part two with what I bought at the Wangaratt and Woolen Mills. Okay, I've unbagged it. <laughs> Bit disappointed something got damaged in the freight because I had planned to give this as a gift, but it's a bit beaten up. Never mind. Um, so Janice took me to Wangaratta Woolen Mills. There are some photos at the end. Please check out the photos and see what we saw. Um, on the day, there is a bit of a history thing out the back that Thing went to. And sometimes you can actually go through and watch the mill in um, being, producing the yarn and working. But that particular day, um, it wasn't available. I think they were doing maintenance. But um, Thing said he enjoyed reading the history and... I was like a kid in a candy shop. I couldn't see enough. And the lady was absolutely amazing. She was really lovely. Because I actually bought the yarn, stopped, was walking out, saw more yarn and decided I wanted that. And I bought it and bought it and she added it to my parcel. You get free d domestic delivery. I can't remember the amount. I got the Bendigo one wrong. I know it's 100 or maybe it's 75. I can't remember. I will put it in the description below. For those who want to check it out, they do have some great yarn to buy, especially wool as well. I don't know if they ship international. So the first thing out of the parcel for Wangaratta that they sent to my place is a Peyton Summer Swirl. There's 800 metres in this. It's knit and crochet pattern included. Now, I have got Byzantium in colour. There's four colours on the box. It's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, hook and needle size tension C pattern. Now, the box was pretty good when I picked it up. They were on sale, but I think it's got a bit squished. In the post if I send it as a gift to someone I don't think they would mind but you never know but there you go that's it there patterns summer swirl it's a very lightweight it's like I don't know three strands of cotton it's very fine and there's some of the patterns you can make on the back I do like that now, if you remember, I said I, when I went away, I was only going to buy yarn for three patterns. And I bought one at Wangaratta. I sort of bought one at Morris and Sons, but wasn't real happy. And, uh, no, at Bendigo Woolen Mills, because Wangaratta Woolen Mills is actually owned by Bendigo Woolen Mills. I bought yarn for one pattern at Bendigo Woolen Mills, which I've shown you. And I found some yarn for my second pattern. Hopefully it's suitable at Wangaratta. And I bought the packet of it. So here it is. I'm not going to open the packet. That's the colour there. It's like pinks and purples. There was the only one colour. It's called, it's Peyton's made at Wangaratta. Songbird 8 ply. There's 160 metres in a ball. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten. I bought 10 balls because I know I need that much. Not quite that much, but there. This is beautiful and soft. I did feel it. It's just so soft. It's a five squishy soft on my five squishy scale. Five being the best. So I do have a box down here. Now, like I said, I like the carnival. Um, soft eight ply and they had this color on the day which is like a, a deepy purple color and I wasn't going to go past it even though I'm not a big fan of purples 
I'm going to use this in some sort of baby project. So I've got three of those. I'll talk about the ones I haven't shown you before. So click heated wool, pure wool. This is eight ply pure wool. And I love this colour. It's like a butter banana yellow. And it's very difficult to get this colour up here. And I bought, or well, actually I bought four walls of that carnival eight ply. I bought how many of this? No, that's different. I've got some yellow in here. So I bought four balls of this because I do plan to use more pure wool. Now these Click Heaton have their 50 gram balls, 95 meters in them, and yes, Australian Young Company, Click Heaton, Victoria. There you go. I really like that. It has a color number, but that's the color. And I bought four balls of that. I also bought two balls in the beigey color as a bit of a contrast. Another hard colour to get up here. We do They do sell this um, yarn at Spotlight, but they um, don't always have the full colour range. So then I saw this Totem Merino 8-ply, which when I was about 15, Totem was the wool I knitted with all the time. It was the wool my mother introduced me to. Over the years, it's got a lot softer. It's still on squishiness, it's probably a three. It's soft, but it's not as soft as others. But it is a nice pure wool to knit with. And I bought two balls of that. I'm just trying to see what this is. Okay, so two balls of totem in this color because it was the only color they had. But I do plan to have an eight ply stash of pure wools in a lot of different colors a future project that's floating around up in here and there's 95 meters in those so then I bought Pantanile Merino 4 ply in this color the color number so this is um, what you say I'm trying to see may 80% merino wool 20% nylon and in this color I bought three yellow and this is when I was walking out because I hadn't seen this color before same yarn in orange and she added those to my order for me don't ask me what the prices of this yarn was when you buy at the shop some of it's on clearance and um, some of it's not but definitely look at online and see what they've got. They are definitely putting more things on their online shop. I also um, grabbed a couple of one, one, two. Ben uh, Wangaratta Woolen Mills um, cal calico bags that I'll probably use as gifts to send to people. They make, I always find these bag totes make great shawl or blanket project bags because they're big and it's somewhere to keep them and they always make nice little gifts like to add to something when you send it away so like the bendigo i bought two wangaratta so that one did not cost me any postage because if you spend a certain amount you get free postage Look, I cannot thank Janice enough. She made us welcome into her home. She spent the day with us. She gave me such great yarn, tips of what to see. Even after we left, she um, sent some text messages through of different things we could see on the Great Ocean Road that she'd forgot to tell us about. Um, what can I say? We had a ball. It was sad to leave her. We spent about two days there. The average day was two to three days in wherever we went. And um, from there, we went to Ballarat. And believe me, it was all downhill at Ballarat, which was disappointing. I, even for Thing, it was a little disappointing. He wanted to go to Ballarat. So guys, that is my two big yarn unboxings. 
for my holiday. There is more yarn to come. Um, some of it, I'm trying to remember where I bought it and why. Some of it, I know why I bought it and where I got it from. I'm just checking back through my bank statements to see the shops and where they were, and it'll trigger a memory. Um, what do they say? Short-term memory loss as you get older. Look, the trip was amazing. Some of the things we saw were just mind-blowingly different to living in the tropics. All the cattle, the fields, the greenery. And yeah, I can't thank the lady at Wangaratta Woolen Mills enough. She was so friendly, so welcoming, and she was quite busy. And yeah, nothing was too much trouble for her. Anyway, guys, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not as long as I thought because I rethought really about reading everything out on the labels. I'm sure some of it you've seen before. And if you haven't, you can always check out the websites that I'll list in the description below. Now, don't forget, I made something for secondhand September with this yarn. So make sure you check out the secondhand September video and jump in and join us. There are some little prizes as for participant prizes that I'll give away at the end. I'll put a link to the video and yeah, let's enjoy secondhand September. I am now going to find more room for my yarn. I'm even thinking, because I said to Janice, what will I do? I've got so much yarn now. And she said, I don't give it away. And I'm thinking maybe I'll do a yarn stash or stock giveaways, yarn that I've had for a while, and maybe do a giveaway. What do you think, guys? Should, would you be happy to re receive some yarn from my yarn stock that I may have had for a while, but can't think what I'm going to use it for? Let me know in the comments below. And yet again, thank you, Janice, and your family for giving us such welcoming, surprise support and a great part of our holiday. Until next time, guys, stay safe, stay well, take care, and remember, have a yarn adventure and try and meet up with someone that you've met online and get to know them. Bye for now.